day everyone today you are going to learn about multiplying fraction and a whole number and another fraction so i will show you two solutions or two methods on how to multiply fraction and the whole number and another fraction so isa na dito yung conventional method at saka yung isa naman ay cancellation method so ano nga po ba ang mga steps in uh, multiplying fraction and the whole number and another fraction using conventional method. So first, multiply the, the numerators. Second, you are going to multiply the denominators. And the last one, you are just going to simplify the answer if possible. Let's have some example. 3 times 5 over 6. So we are multiplying a whole number and a fraction. So kapag whole number ang ating i-multiply sa fraction ibig sabihin po uh, mayroon po tayo ditong invisible na 1 sa ilalim invisible po ang 1 na denominator niya okay ibig sabihin ito po ay 3 over 1 okay so next using the conventional method what is the first step that we are going to do Multiply first the numerators. So, ito po ang numerators nila, 3 and 5. So, 3 times 5, the answer is 15. Okay. Next is, we are going to multiply the denominators. Nasaan po ang denominators? Ito pong 1 and 6. So, 1 times 6, the answer is 6. Okay. So, now, so ang pinakalast step natin na gagawin is, we are going to simplify the answer if possible. So, ito pong 15 over 6 ay naka lowest term na ba? Hindi pa. Bakit po? Mayroon po silang common factor. Ano po ang common factor nila? Yes, 3. So, ang kanilang greatest common factor ay 3. So, divide natin sila sa kanilang common factor na 3. So, 15 divided by 3, the answer is 5. 6 divided by 3, the answer is 2. Okay, so tingnan ulit natin yung sagot natin, 5 over 2. Okay, ito po ay isang improper fraction. Okay, so kapag improper fraction, we need to change or convert to mixed number. So paano ulit po yun? So, i-divide po natin yan, uh, numerator na yan sa denominator. So ganito po yun, 5 divided by 2. Okay, so 5 divided by 2, the answer is 2. 2 times 2, the answer is 4. So, four, uh, 5 minus 4, the answer is 1. Okay, so, ayan po siya. Okay, so, ang 5 over 2 ay naging 2 and 1 over 2. So, therefore, the product is 2 and 1 half using conventional method. Okay, so let's try another method or another solution. Using cancellation method naman. Okay, so gamitin natin ang the same given numbers. Okay, so understood po ito na 3 over 1. Okay, ngayon. So, the first step na gagawin natin ay um, alamin po muna natin kung meron bang may mga common factors ba dito ang mga numbers na nandito. So, tingnan natin sila pa vertical or pa diagonal. Okay? So yung 5 over 6 ba ay may common factor? Yung 3 at saka 6 po ba ay may common factor? Yung 5 at saka uh, 1 po ba may common factor? Yung 3 over 1 po ba ay may common factor? Ganun po. Okay, so ngayon po kung ating napapansin yung 3 at saka 6 po ay mayroong common factor na 3. Okay, so i-divide sila natin I-divide natin sila sa kanilang common factor na 3. Okay, so, 3 divided by 3, the answer is 1. So, cancel natin sila, lagay dito ang 1. Okay, yung sagot. Next is, ang 6 naman, i-divide natin sila sa common factor na 3 nila. Okay, so, 6 divided by 3, the answer is 2. Cancel natin, lagay natin dito yung sagot, 2. Okay, now, mayroon pa bang maibang common factor dyan? So, wala na po. So, kung wala na, ang sunod na gagawin natin, we are going to multiply the numerators. So, anas dyan ang numerators? Itong 1 at saka 5. So, 1 times 5, the answer is 5. Okay. Next is, uh, 
multiply them naman the denominator. So, ang denominators dyan ay nasaan? Okay, ito tong 1 na to at saka yung 2 na to. So, 1 times 2, the answer is 2. Okay, next. Ang pinakalas nating gagawin, sabi ko nga, basic yun. Kailangan nating isimplify ang ating answer. So, 5 over 2, wala na silang common factor, pero sila, siya po ay isang improper fraction. So, anong gagawin natin? We are going to change this into mixed number or mixed form. So, paano ulit po yun? So, ganito yun. 5 over 5 divided by 2. So, ayan, 5 divided by 2, the answer is 2. 2 times 2, the answer is 4. So, four minus, uh, 5 minus 4, rather, is 1. So, ayan po siya. Okay, so itong 2 na ito, ayan po siya. Okay, itong 1, dito. Tsaka itong 2 naman, doon. Okay, so, our final answer is 2 and 1 half. So, kung napapansin natin, parehas lang sila ng sagot. Using conventional method at saka cancellation method. So, alin man sa inyo ang mas mabilis, kung alin man ang sa inyong prefer, sa inyo na gusto nyong gamitin, ay okay lang. Parehas lang naman din yan ang kalalabasan. Okay? Another example, 9 over 10 times 15 over 18. Okay. So, using conventional method, you are just going to multiply the numerators. 9 times 15, the answer is 135. Okay. Um, uh, multiplying the denominators, 10 times 18, the answer is 180. Okay. Now, okay, take a look at our answer. 135 over 180. So, last step na gagawin natin, we are going to simplify the answer if possible. So, ang mayroon ba dito, mayroon po bang common factor ang 135 over 180? Yes po, mayroon silang common factor na 45. So, divide natin sila sa kanilang common factor na 45. Okay, 135 divided by 45, the answer is 3. And 180 naman divided by 45, the answer is Four. So, our final answer is three-fourths using conventional method. Ganun po ang gagawin. Okay. Using naman cancellation method, ang gagawin ulit natin, we are just going to uh, aalamin natin sila kung mayroon bang may common factor. Okay? So, pwede natin sila tingnan as vertically, pa ganyan, or pwede namang pa diagonal. Okay. So, kung titinan natin, ang 10 at saka 15 may common factor at saka yung 9 at saka 18 naman may common factor. So, cancel natin sila sa pamamagitan ng kanilang pagdi-divide sa kanilang common factor. So, unahin natin ang 9 at saka 18. Ang 9 at 18 mayroon po silang common factor na 9. So, 9 divided by 9, the answer is 1. 18 divided by 9, the answer is 2. Okay. Ang 15 at saka 10 po ba mayroong common factor? Yes. Meron po silang common factor na 5. So, i-divide natin sila sa kanilang common factor na 5. 10 divided by 5, the answer is 2. Okay. 15 divided by 5, the answer is 3. Okay. So, lagi lang natin siya sa gilid. Now, meron pa bang may common factor? Yung 1 at 2, yung 3 at 2? Wala na po. Tama po ba? Okay, so wala na. So, next step, we are going to multiply the numerators. 1 times 3. 1 times 3, the answer is 3. And then, we are going to multiply the denominators. 2 times 2, the answer is 4. Okay, so, final na gagawin natin, I mean yung uh, last step na gagawin natin, we are going to simplify your answer if possible. So, ang 3 over 4 po ba ay nakasimplify na? Yes. So, there's no need for you to convert. Kasi po, siya po ay naka lowest term na. So, our final answer is 3 fourths. Okay, ayan po. Parehas po yung sagot nila. Ano po? So, ang kaigihan lang talaga, class, kapag cancellation method, 
kukunti na lang ang multiply mo. Konting numbers. Maliliit na numbers na lang ang multiply mo. Kasi na-cancel mo na sila. Okay. Unlike sa conventional method, kahit malalaking numbers, multiply mo sila. Malaki ang numbers. Di po ba? Okay. So, nasa inyo pa rin yun. Kung alin man ang mas mabilis para sa inyo, yun din ang inyong, yun ang gagawin mo. Okay? Last example. Two-fifths times six-twelfths times four. Or, two over five times six over twelve times four. Okay? So, again, understood po ito na four na four over one. Okay, so again, pagka conventional method, you, you are just going to multiply all the numerators. So, 2 times 6 is 12. 12 times 4, the answer is 48. Okay, next is multiply the denominators. So, 5 times 12 times 1. So, the answer is 5 times 12 times 1. The answer is 60. So, again, the last step is you are going to simplify the answer if possible. So, ang 48 over 60 po ay may common factor pa, hindi pa siya, com ah, hindi pa siya lowest term. So, ang gagawin natin, sila po ay ating i-divide sa kanilang GCF. So, ano po kaya ang GCF ng 48 at saka 60? Okay, ang GCF po nila ay 12. Okay, so 48 divided by 12, the answer is 4. 60 divided by 12, the answer is Five. So, our final answer is 4 over 5 using conventional method. So, paano naman kapag cancellation method? Okay, so again, understood po ito na 1. Okay, so aalamin po natin kung meron bang may common factors dito. So, again, pwedeng vertically, pwedeng diagonally, ganyan. Okay, so kung titinan natin, nasaan po ang mayroong common factor? So, itong 6 at 12, meron po silang common factor. Ano po ang kanilang common factor? Yun po ay 6. Okay, ito namang dalawa, may common factor din. Ito namang dalawa, may common factor din. So, pwede rin alin man do doon ang ating unahin. So, ito muna unahin natin. Ang 6 at saka 12. So, ang common factor nila ulit ay 6. So, 6 divided by 6, the answer is 1. So, lagay na lang natin dito sa gilid yung 1. Okay, 12 divided by 6, the answer is 2. So, alagay natin dito ang 2. Okay, now, so, nasaan pa po ba dyan ang may common factor? So, itong 2 at 4, pwede. Pwede rin namang 2 at saka 2. Okay? So, sabi ko nga, pwedeng diagonal. Okay. So, pero hindi siya pwedeng pa horizontal. Okay, pwedeng pa diagonal or pwedeng pa vertical. Okay, so, alin po? Pwede pong unahin ng 2 at saka 2. Pwede namang 4 at saka 2. Isa lang naman po ang kalalabasan doon kung alin man ang gawin natin. So, pwedeng 4 at saka 2. Pwedeng 2 over 2. So, ito na lang. 2 na ito at saka itong 2 na ito. So, magiging 1 na lang yan. Ito naman, magiging 1 na lang siya. So, okay. 2 divided by 2, the answer is 1. 2 divided by 2, the answer is 1. Kasi 2 ang kanilang common factor. Okay. So, ayan. May, may, wala na po tayong may common factor dyan. Okay? So, ito na lang po ang natira dyan. We are going to multiply the numerators. So, 1 times 1 times 4, the answer is 4. Next is, multiplying the denominators. 5 times 1 times 1, the answer is 5. Okay, so, simplify your answer if possible. So, ang 4 over 5 po ay nakasimplify na. There's no need for you to simplify kasi lowest term. Music